Hey, good morning, friends. We're back together again, looking at Acts chapter 17 today. A great chapter about teachings related to the resurrection. And we're looking at belief and salvation as Paul continues his navigation through Greece and through that whole area of Europe, bringing new people to Christ. And so the first day we talked about this week on Tuesday, we talked about belief being a choice, putting your trust, your heart into trusting in Jesus. And then yesterday we talked about belief always leads to action. You know you believe, you know you've been saved when it immediately turns into action to repent, to turn back to God, to be baptized, to give your life to him, to, to be washed clean and resurrected as baptism demonstrates. And then today we look at why belief lasts. Like why is it belief does give you eternity? And why is it some people were able to believe even when everything goes against them. I mean, look at Paul. He's been going city to city, and he gets into a town, and he brings some people to Jesus, but then a whole group of Jews or other people get so upset with him that they're throwing stones at him, they're kicking him out, they're attacking him, some are trying to kill him. And with every, with every success comes all this persecution. Why would he keep believing? Well, I'll tell you why. Because for him, belief isn't about a system. It's about an event. In Acts chapter 17, verse 32 and 34, he's at Mars Hill, this, the Areopagus, Areopaga, <laughs> the place where all these philosophers and the Greek leaders of the time would gather just to discuss the news. They were gossips, and they loved to talk philosophies. It's like college professors at Stanford or Yale or Harvard just sitting around and constantly talking about the day's events. And here's Paul, and he shows up, and he's not talking philosophy. He's talking an event, and he's telling them about the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus. And when he gets to the resurrection, that's the dividing line. Verse 32 and 34 says, when he taught about the resurrection, some of them ridiculed him for believing in such a thing, and yet others followed him and believed. And that is the foundational reason we believe. We don't believe in a system. We don't believe in a religion. We don't believe in a code. It's not about what our parents believed. You know you believe when you've accepted and trust in the resurrection of Jesus as the proof that we can be resurrected too. See, that's the key to our faith. We don't, it's not a system, it's not a religion. It's belief in an event of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus and the hope and the promise that we too can be resurrected. Some will ridicule and others will believe. But it's that belief that holds us and keeps us believing forever. And friends, I hope you have that as your belief. I hope your belief isn't in your religion or your church or your system or your doctrine or your, or your, your family's history or your culture. I hope and pray that your belief is in the true resurrection of Jesus. Because if it is, then you're believing in the thing that will give you a resurrection too. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow as we finish out this week in Acts chapter 18. Have a great day.